again. Today, we'll build upon what you learned yesterday. Did you see all the diggers strolling about down there? They are all in danger. Right here is the problem. Oh, I know what you're thinking. But awesome dwarf, there's a wall and even a hole. Let me tell you, that sloppy attitude has cost many a dwarven life. You see, even if you manage to stop water or lava from flooding your caves, diggers can still open them up right again from the sides. Luckily, there's a solution for this. You can use Solidify by holding control while clicking the left mouse button. This will turn squares of soil into solid rock. Rook is undiggable, so if you trap a cave in it, it will become harmless. As you might see, the previous overseer has already begun encasing this cave in rock. Unfortunately, he fell down a hole on his way to the keg, so you'll have to finish what he started. I repeat, turn the earth surrounding the cave into rock by holding control and clicking the left mouse button. Great work! As you can see, it's expensive to solidify earth, so use it wisely. Tomorrow, you'll be able to show off what you learned. And like my great-great-grandpa told me, there is no better preparation than some good dwarven ale. Bombs up, lads! Ale from a cup of gold, hi ho ho, dig faster you lazy bums. I'm a dwarf and I'm digging. Hey, who's there? Oh, it's you. Good, because today you're going to combine all your previous lessons and actually do something worthwhile. On this map below, you can see two dark caves. This doesn't mean there's nothing inside, only that you don't know what. My beard sense tells me one of them might be dangerous, but you have to check them both before trapping them. Trapping an undiscovered cave is forbidden by dwarven lords and should give you no rewards. But what you unknowingly trap some precious gold, eh? I'm sure one of these caves contains water or lava. Find a witch and trap it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.